Hey guys, what's up, Zyphon here, and today I'm just going to be going over a few weapons in the clan dojo that you guys can pick up and that are pretty useful, like easy to mod, uh, pretty low cost to build, things like that there. It's just things that are good for newer players because I get asked this question a lot. don't really know why because like I kind of make it clear like what weapons are good and what weapons are bad whenever I'm talking to people, but apparently you guys need it in video form. So uh, yeah, but two announcements at the beginning of the video. One... We are looking for moderators for the PS4 clan. So there is going to be a link in the description below to a little Google application, which you can uh, like fill in and then you can apply to be a PS4 moderator, right? So, um, you know, you have the potential to become a moderator for the Discord and for the Twitch channel too, implying you're good enough at your job uh, on the PS4 clan as well. So um, that is basically that there. You can just click... Um, Look through to it. We are looking for people specifically to do invites to the PS4 clan and then kind of manage it. I will say that I'm not like 100% active on the PS4. I log in there about once every two months or something just to see how it's going. Um, I don't really play on there too often, but maybe in the future I will play on it. I don't know, but right now I can't like say I'm going to be playing on it like because I'm only Master Rank 18 and it's just easier to make content on PC. So right now, I'm not specifically going to be playing on PS4, and that's why I need someone to sort of manage it for me. So I'm going to be looking for a moderator or a group of moderators. So that application is in below. And then number two, if you guys are watching this video whenever it first goes up, I want you guys to go ahead and check out Shull over in Twitch.tv. He's a really cool Warframe partner and streamer, and you're also going to be able to watch him to get the uh, the Twitch drops whenever Planes Vital on comes out. So go ahead, check him out. The link is also in his stream. He's a really cool caster and like I'm what? Really cool guy. Um, but anyway, on with the video. So we're going to start off with the chemical lab over here. And this is where... Sorry, that's not the chemical lab. Derp. I have my... Um, I, I, I spawned in at the wrong place. Okay, maybe I just forget where, where all my labs are. But this is the chemical lab over here. Uh, the chemical lab <laughs> is the um, grenier base lab where you can get a, um, you know grenier base weapons and stuff. So... We have the Marlock right here, which is one of my favorite weapons uh, whenever it comes to secondaries. Like, this is my most used secondary to eat. I think I just used the Vaycore version of it. But once you hit Master Rank 5, you're going to be able to pick up the Marlock. And, uh, yeah, the Vaycore Marlock, my most used secondary. You're able to pick up and use the regular Marlock, which is a very good weapon because the damage adds up. It's very versatile. It has high impact, high puncture, a decent amount of slash and stuff like that there. So, it's a crit build. So, you want to be modding for, you know... Pistol Gambit, Target Cracker, and then your Elementals, Hornet Strike, stuff like that there. And then uh, this is a really cool weapon, and I recommend picking it up. So there is that. And then there's also the Jack Kusar. This is actually a player design weapon, which I believe this got added into the game because it won a competition. This is a crit build. Uh, it's really cool. I recommend picking it up. You can go Blood Rush Body Count with it. Jack Katag, also a really good weapon. It's very unique. So pick it up use it i think it's pretty cool as well go blood rush body kind and also there's an augment for it i believe i forget what the augment does but you know it's a really good weapon regardless the yeah, and brunt here blood rush body kind combo on this weapon really cool you know, just kill stuff you have the shield so you take reduced damage whenever you're blocking like even more than whatever you're blocking normally so it's a really cool weapon and other than that there that is it for the chemical lab you can also get your ammo restores here which is going to restore your ammo whenever you use it pretty useful i recommend picking it up you're going to need to use Forma and Detonite Injectors to build these. So you're going to have to purchase this Detonite Injector Blueprint, replicate it, and then you're going to have to build it. And this is what it costs to build a, uh, a Detonite Injector, right? So you're going to have to buy this Blueprint multiple times and then just keep on building it. It takes 12 hours, kind of like Forma. And then uh, you just have to use those to uh, build the stuff. So here's the, the cost, you know, Detonite Injectors, Forma, stuff like that there. And then I'll also show the cost of the Marlock 2. Uh, right here and the Akin Brunt, which is right here. You might also want to pick up the Ignis too, which is just a flame thrower. It's pretty good. I recommend it, especially if you're like clearing rooms or something for uh, containers and stuff. You know, this is a very useful weapon. Uh, you can even use this on Saren if you're a Saren man. You can use this to pop the spores uh, on your malt. So you spam your spores on your second ability, which is your malt, and then it spreads Pharaoh through the air. It's really cool. Just pick the Ignis up, and then, so, that's basically it. So, Marlock, Jackazar, Ignis, Jackatag, and the Akin Brunt are the weapons that I recommend for newer players from uh, this chemical lab over here. And then, that is that. Next, we will move on to the Energy Lab, which is basically your Corpus Lab, right? 
this one's a lot a lot different it's like energy based weapons um weapons i recommend in here the arcus Kisku. i think this is a pretty cool pistol it's like a scope pistol it was actually only recently added so i can show you guys the cost requirements for that uh so same deal here you have to build the field drawn so you can buy the blueprint for that there and then go ahead and craft it so here it is right here this is what you craft it stuff like that so arcus Kisku. Uh, the OptiCore is okay. I don't really like this weapon too much because single shot, you don't get really high EPS, but you get like really high damage numbers, which is really worth it, I guess. So if you want to build this here, it's like a, you know, high damage single shot weapon. It's got like a charge on it. Uh, it's a crit weapon. So, you know, I don't recommend it per se, but it's a good weapon regardless. And it's worth mentioning. Uh, we have the Arca Plasma, which is a new like plasma pump action shotgun. Really cool. Base radiation damage, 600 radiation damage to be exact. Go ahead and build this here really good weapon moving on we have the um let's see the amprex this is one of my like long time favorites insanely good you, you have a very good strong mixture of status chance and uh, crit damage in this weapon you can also get a very powerful ribbon with it as well so you get 50 percent base crit chance so you put point strike on here you're gonna be well over 100 percent crit chance just with a point strike i believe you can get to like 125 or something not too sure of the exact numbers but it's an insanely fast DPS weapon. Only downside, it runs out of ammo very quick, and there's no physical damage stats to back it up, so you really have to, like, up your damage using elemental mods and stuff like that there. So split chamber, heavy caliber, serration, uh, infected clip, and um, stormbringer. Get those mods on there. This weapon shreds. It is great. Vital sense, point strike. This weapon is a godsend. It's great. Especially just for going into an exterminate, killing a bunch of mobs super fast. This weapon's insane. I love it. Um, next up, we have the Static Core. Also really cool. You got BS radiation damage on these. These are like fast-firing secondaries, which you can also charge. So really cool. Um, just get them. Like, you'll see how good they are. The insight to it, you have to have 19 to build them, which kind of sucks. But, you know, I recommend picking these up anyway because it's really cool weapons. Very powerful, especially whenever you get a very good build on them. You don't really build it for crit. You just build it for, like, raw damage, maybe a little bit of stats. Uh, status chance here and there basically it really fun weapons super cool you can proc so many status effects you can make radiation build crucible build stuff like that next up we have the lens here this is a super unique weapon it's a bow and arrow but it's an energy bow and arrow and it makes a massive ass explosion which combines blast damage and cool damage which isn't usually two elemental combos which you could get um but this thing murders robotic enemies like absolutely murders them so how it works is you shoot out like a big bubble and enemies caught within the bubble are going to be slowed and then they're going to explode. It, it's really insane. You can build this for crit. I don't believe you can get red crits with it though, which is kind of weird. Um, just from playing with it, I barely get any red crits even though I'm over 200% crit chance and stuff with it. Um, but other than that, you know, this is an insane weapon. Definitely pick it up. It's good for holding down rooms and stuff. Downside, gotta use 19. Sucks, but what can you do about it? Explosive bow and arrow. Why not? Just pick it up. It's super cool. Um, Laxin, it's okay. I don't use it a lot. Uh, really, I don't really recommend it, but you get that status chance right here, 35%. You get the cold damage. So, I mean, if you want to have just a, like a laser beam, sure, go for it. But I recommend the Ferox over it. This is like a javelin weapon. You can throw it, but um, really, it comes from just the crit chance that you get on it here. So, you can use this like a Yufuna, kind of, like the... Um, the single shot from the Yafuna Prime. Just shoot them. Kill them. Easy peasy. Really decent stats. You got 245 puncture. 70 slash. 35 impact. 30% crit chance. 2.5 times crit multiplier. Insanely good crit weapon. Just don't throw it. Just shoot with it. Really good. Not the highest DPS weapon in the game. Very nice though. Very nice. A lot of damage. And that is about it for the Energy Lab. Next up, we're going to move into the Tenno Lab, the one that I accidentally went into first. And we're just going to be talking about weapons. We're not going to be talking about Warframes, but um, there's a lot I can recommend from here. We have the Axe Stiletto. Uh, let's go ahead and get the costs for it. Forma, Alloy Plate, Salvage Gallium, stuff like that there. Insanely good crap up, uh, crit weapons. You can build like a, um, like a hybrid combo on them too. So you can go with status chance and crit if you really want to. Uh, so that's if you are very lazy and you don't have all the forma. Um, but I just recommend going a full-on crit build on these. Very good weapons. With the Zact here, which opens enemies up to finisher attacks whenever you um, shoot them and the gases around them. Really cool weapon. It's actually pretty damaging too. So you want to mod this for status chance. It strips armor and stuff very uh, very well. So 
it looks really cool too and that's what i really like about this weapon so i recommend picking this up uh next up we have the zibris which is a lever action free run burst rifle super cool love it mod it for crit get it no downside to it beastly weapon super insane obviously there's other versions of it out there like the prime and the dex but you know still get it uh, especially if you're a new player because why not Venka over here, basically Wolverine Claws. You can get these here and they build up their combo counters super fast, especially if you're building um, Blood Rush Body Count. These are insane. They look super insane too, especially if you're using Velk here. This looks super badass. Like, there's no reason not to get these. We'll move on now to the. I'm not that big of a fan of the Tenora, but you know, you can pick it up if you want to. Piranha, same thing for me. Not that big of a fan. The Kana. You can take this and then turn it into the Dragon Nakana later on, which you can get from the market. So, pick this up, level up the 30, then use it to craft the Dragon Nakana, which is going to give you a lot more damage. So, that's the only reason you get the Nakana. Um, moving on, we have... You know, not that much. Tombow is okay. Um, we have the Gwondo, which is an insanely good weapon in my opinion. It's kind of like an Orphos, except it's not the Orphos. Uh, it's got, you know... Decent stats, nice puncture, nice slash. Uh, if you mod this with Maiming Strike or something, if you have it, you can definitely do well with it. You have a decently high crit chance here as well, 24%, which is good. Uh, crit multiplier of 2.2. It's a decent weapon. I recommend picking it up. That and it looks cool. You get the style points as well. Um, moving on. I don't really have anything else in here apart from Arc Wings and Warframes and stuff. So, you know, get all the Warframes in here, of course. Uh, I don't know if... if is the x in here? I don't know if the Axumati are in here. If the Axumati are in here, pick those up, but I don't... I don't believe they are. Okay, maybe they're not. Okay. It's whatever. They're not in there. Um, But last but not least, we're going over the bio lab over here. And this is the infested lab. That one over there is 10 weapons. So every weapon that you see over there has the potential to be primed. So pick them up, play around with them, make a favorite build. And then whenever the prime version comes out, well, then you have them. So... This is the bio lab. You need a uh, mutagen mask to build these things. Replicate. Do we have credits, mutagen sample, control module, salvage, plastics? Kind of annoying the build, but you know, you can do it. Never say never. Uh, we have the Mios here, which is a bleed and whip. Really cool weapon. Uh, you can make some really devastating combos with this. It looks really cool. The filed snapdragon. Great stance. You know, there's no reason not to pick up this weapon, in my opinion. It's just a super cool weapon, especially if you're running Blubber's body count builds super good uh moving on we have the let's see what else can we get in here the jewel icor these are pretty good for crit as well these used to be meta back in the day whenever i used to play uh like you know and void tires and stuff like that there so the reason these were meta is because they had a super high attack speed especially whenever you're running berserker on them and you could like fling yourself across the map they're not that damaging but with blood rush body kind weeping ones uh, condition overload etc these things can be top tier like, there's, there's no reason to not pick these up, in my opinion. Of course, they look ugly, but you know, they're, they're they're damaging. You know, they're, they're good. They're really good. Try them out. Make a build for them. Trust me, you'll like them. Of course, they're ugly, but that's the downside. We have the Synapsis here. This is a unique weapon. It's really damaging. It's got a really high DPS. The thing is, it's got very shit range. So, it's like a close range for the beam, which kind of just murders people. So... You build it for crit, you mod it right, 50% crit chance base, 2 times multiplier, this is super damaging, you know, super damaging. No reason not to pick it up in my opinion, try it out, play around with it, it's just a beam, it kills things. Shit. Pick it up, try it out, that's it. Uh, next up we have the dual, dual toxicists, these are a must have, especially if you play Mesa. Not because of how damaging they are, but because of the passive that you get on, which is called Frenzy. Whenever you get a headshot, it actually increases the fire rate off these weapons. So if you're playing this Mesa, you bring these out, you get a headshot, then you use your fourth ability, and then your fourth ability has that effect too. So you're in firing insanely fast with Mesa. Super fast. It, it makes her insane. Like, trust me, try it out. It's great. Pick them up. Mod these for crit. Uh, even though they're status weapons, mod them for crit. And then, you know, just watch Mesa kill everything. With the pox over here, which I like to use for Saren, because you can use these also to pop the spores. So I'd use the combination of the Ignis and the pox. Uh, downside is you need 19 to build them, which is unfortunate. But these are good just for leaving gas clouds behind, and that's really just all they do. 
and these will automatically pop the spores for you whenever you're casting the spores on your molt. So they're very good for that uh, for that job alone. But other than that, there I wouldn't really use them. And then last but not least, we have the Phage right here, which is probably one of my personal favorite weapons in the game. It's like a tier two weapon, I would say. So it's up there, but it's not sort of super good. But it's still pretty good because you have that beast spiral damage. So, you know, if you can get the status high enough, uh, you can proc radiation viral damage like all day, every day. And just kind of be a madman with this weapon. You can also throw punch tree on it. So it's like a beam that goes through enemies. It's a really cool weapon. Super fun. I used to use it back in the day whenever mag wasn't, uh, you know, reworked. So super cool weapon. I love this thing so much. It's it's great. And um, yeah, that is basically it for the video, guys. Make sure to also pick up your cookies or your health pads and stuff. So you have your health pads here. You have your energy labs in the energy lab or your your, your energy labs in your energy lab. You have your energy pads in the energy lab. And then you have your ammo pads in the chemical lab. And then that is pretty much it. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button below. And if you want to see more Warframe content from me, hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.